little saw is done. All right, so we're working on the brackets for the tow truck wheel lift. And I've already got the plates cut to length and deburred. And I tack welded them along this edge and the back edge as well and got them clamped in the mill here. And we're going to drill three holes for the bolts to mount through. And then we're gonna drill one hole, which will go through these two plates. And those will be for our uh, mechanical tubing that the pin's going to sit in. And I did notice that the old ones were literally just right on top of the plate, welded on. Um, I didn't, not that that's bad, but I think that I'm gonna go and drill right through the plate and be able to weld them front and back. So we're going to uh, edge find our plates, find our zero on this corner. I've gotten the do holes written in off of the old plates and we're gonna see how this goes. So this machine is equipped with a digital readout, so you'll see my hand go by and I was just zeroing it right on the dead on the corner of this workpiece here. So now I'm going to move over and center drill, pre-drill and drill all, all the holes individually. That will keep me from moving around so much. Ah, how'd that get there? We are pretty much good to go here now. that two more times.
Tool 6-359A. It was red, so it was made by Starat. Finishing up here on the uh, plates for the back of the record. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the two inch hole saw. I ended up uh, going and picking up another one and ended up having trouble with that as well. I had to uh, weld it right to an old arbor and then uh, it ended up cutting it eventually. But we got that out and I'm just finishing up on the deburring of these and then. Um, I'll probably bevel one side of the plate in order to mount it to the 2x3 uh, cross frame underneath. And then um, from there, these plates will be welded. So I'll probably bevel one side of these in order to weld these to the uh, side of the cross frame. And I drilled a, a quarter inch hole here that I'm going to tap for uh, 8 mil. And then we're just going to put a grease circ in that and then We'll end up having uh, this plate bolt over top of that, like so. And then that'll have a grease circ right into the middle of our uh, new bung there that's gonna hold. Here's one actually right here. So that'll sit in there and then the grease will come right through. And then these are both been beveled on the back side. in order to create a decent weld and keep it flush. So we'll be able to weld these front and back. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna get these all welded on probably tomorrow, but uh, everything's moving forward. So. so we have all of our plates for the back side of the wrecker there. Deburred and punched out. Laid out nicely, you know, ready to go. Setup's ready to weld these on the back of the wheel lift. Got the old yes welder set up for doing some stick. 130 amps. Okay, so we're all welded up here. We still got some cleaning up to do, but both of those are ready to go. And we got this piece set up. We're gonna tack that in place and then we'll do the other one and then we'll weld them solid as well. Well, those are all geared up and ready for paint. Thanks for watching.